These insights are brought to you by the ominous orange of unknowable intent. Hmm. You've been blessed with breath, but it's brief. The longer you live, the faster the years tick by. What story will you tell with your one life? You're free to choose, and that's a gift. Craft a story that means something to you, a legacy to look back on. And as you do, keep these five promises to yourself. They are hard, they will challenge you, but when it comes to living a meaningful life, that's the point. Number one, when it truly matters to you, promise yourself you will do the necessary hard thing. It translates into a million small behaviors. Wake up early, make that call, do that course, write that next chapter. Go when you must go and work through the pain. It's racking. It will pit your pleasure instinct against your perseverance. It will take everything out of you. But what's the alternative? Nothing happens. You wonder what you might have been had you only done the work when you could. Do the work. Don't live a life underscored by the one great question, what might I have been? Two, promise to be the best version of that. Corporate's not for you. You want to be a cartoonist. Be the best version of a cartoonist. Take it seriously. You fight fires for a living. You farm. You find old artifacts. You teach, you train, you tell stories. Tell great stories. What you do in your pursuit matters perhaps less than what your pursuit does in you. Let it inspire greatness in you, regardless of what it is. Promise you will take it seriously. Promise you will always strive to be the very best version of that. Three, their story is not your story and yours is not theirs. Promise yourself you will never be a part of the herd. Groupthink is perhaps the most dangerous phenomenon of the past century. Can you think against the crowd? When it is true, can you maintain the unpopular opinion? Be teachable by all means, but not bendable, not manipulable. True is true, no matter how angry the crowds become. And you will hate yourself for surrendering the truth in order to conform. 4. Promise yourself that no will not become your default setting. There's so much life to be lived. Surprises await in places you never expected them. You have the option of getting lost within yourself. Or you can go out and live, pursue life. With its infinite variables, you can never even guess what might happen when you venture out. Put your feet on the path. Go, see, do. When no becomes your default setting, the universe listens and stops showing you things. And number five. Promise to look at the stars. The heavens declare his glory, and your soul requires it. Human beings are not machines. It matters that we become effective, but we are not cogs to be optimized. You have a soul. Looking at the stars makes you feel small in ways that matter. You question things. You dream. You wonder about big ideas. You were designed to wonder about big ideas. And seeking the answers to questions is ultimately more important than hitting career targets. Your version of stars might be fire size or mountains. It may be time at the sea. Surrounded by towers of concrete, perhaps your stars are symphony orchestras or digital escapes to far off places. Whatever your stars, you must stare at them. You have a soul to nourish, so promise yourself you will. Be accountable to that hunger in concession that you are not a machine. And this is a question of quality. If you fail to keep this one, you won't have it in you to keep the other four. What story will you tell in your time? You're free to choose, and that's a gift. Keep these five promises to yourself and craft a legacy that you can look back on.